Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo.de VR. Today I have a really cool VR accessory video and this is very interesting because it is the first part of the upcoming DK Gear 1 set. So this is the DK Move and this is a small device that you place here on, your, on the side of your body and it can, can cause that you in Inside the game, you can do the locomotion deca move based. So normally in the games, you, you set the locomotion um, controller based or headset based. And now we have it deca move based. That means you can navigate by the rotation of or the, yeah, the, the direction of your hip. And that's very interesting because we have our hands free, we can still walk, uh, our head is free and um, the direction of movement is with this thing here. Very interesting. And of course it's also interesting to see what the company, what the quality of the company is with this device. Because you know there will be the Deca Gear 1 headset that we all look forward to and this is a first hint about the quality of this company. So I will show you a short unboxing, a setup and of course gameplay and my conclusion. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel thanks to my sponsors Vodkus VR, Oppermann Events, Peter Wasmeyer, Virtual Escape and Adams Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay, let's do a very short unboxing. This is uh, going very fast. So this is a small case. It says DK Move Blogger Edition. It's very important to know that this is the Blogger Edition, not the final edition. It will change a little bit uh, in the design, perhaps. Let's open it. So first thing is, there is a small card and there is the link to the software that you need. I will show it to you later. And then we have a small antenna here. That's very important to connect the Deca Move. You see that? And this is the dongle. This is the USB dongle that you really need. And here is the connection for the antenna that you just saw. I just connected anywhere. And I can already see that this is 3D printed. So of course in mass production, I think it will not be 3D printed. <laughs> um, and then we have the um, charging cable. It's a small charging cable to charge the Deca Move. Very important USB C to USB A. And here's the Deca Move. Here's the Deca Move. A small device. Yeah, here it has the USB C connector to charge it. Uh, then we have the clip here to place it on your hip. And then the button here. This is only one button. I can show you later what you can do with that. So that's it. <laughs> that was very fast. And now I will show you how to set up the Deca Move. Okay guys, and now let's check out how we can set up the Deca Move. So the first thing that you're gonna do is uh, download the software that comes on this little card here. Uh, it's the Deca Hub software. You will download this installation file, then just click on next, next, finish. <laughs> and then you have the Deca Hub here. Uh, then open it and it will look like this software here. The next thing is uh, very important that you first install the software with the drivers before you connect anything. Okay, then open the software, then prepare uh, the um, Deca Hub dongle, screw the antenna in. Yeah, that's very important, otherwise it will not connect. And then connect it to any USB hub preferred to the, the front USB ports, uh, so it has a better connection to your play area. Then, um, if everything is right, it should you should see a blue marker here like this and it says Deca Move status open. The next thing is activate the Deca Move by holding the button for two seconds and it vibrates and it gets uh, blue. And as you can see, it reacts already on, my, on the movement and it says Deca Move status streaming. After a few seconds, it will also show, yeah, here it is, the battery, it's 87% uh, now and when you click on identify it will vibrate here of course. And the first thing now you need to do is to calibrate it first. Go on calibrate magnetometer, go on start and do what they, what they say here. Do like this 
Okay, then like this. And then this. Ready. And now you can already see it moves here. That's it so far. <laughs> Very important. And now before you launch the game, of course, place it on your hip. It, it can be placed here anywhere where you, where you should have your belt. Um, I prefer put it on the side here. It's much better. Put it on the side so it doesn't bother you when you crouch or, or whatever. Uh, on the side is the best position for that. And then don't launch the games via Steam. Launch it here via the Dika Hub. Go to home and then you see all the VR games that are installed. And go, uh, if you want, uh, perhaps Half-Life Alyx is installed. Go on play and then the game will start and will support the Dika move. That's interesting. And um, there's one important step that you have to do inside the games uh, for some settings. That's very important. But I will show it to you inside the game now and we will also see does it make sense is it cool let's have a look okay guys so now i will show you the deca move in half-life alex but first i want to show you some stuff so i activated the steam vr view so you will you can see my chaperones here you see that i made that because you can now see the UI, the user interface of the Deca move here. You see that? It's the blue circle and it always has a, a, a blue arrow that's pointing always in the same direction. Always in this direction uh, and it shouldn't move when you move your hip or anything and that means it's calibrated and stuff and then we also have the battery life. It's 90% now and it moves with my head. So this is really cool, but I can also push the button here on the Deca move and now it disappears. If you don't want it, just push the button. You can also push the button again and here it is. That's, that's awesome, right? And the next thing that you, uh, that you really need to do is when you open a game, you have to calibrate. Pshht! <laughs> you have to calibrate and that's... You, you do it like this. Uh, check out my camera here. Stand like this. Look forward and then hold your hand li like this. Yeah, okay. It says uh, calibrated, complete, just like this. Yeah, and it says complete. So uh, the uh, Deca move has also haptic feedback. That means when the calibration is uh, complete, it will vibrate a little bit. So this is what you have to do in every game uh, when you start it. Um, the developers uh, told me that they are working on an automatic calibration, but until that is ready, you have to do that. It's just easy. Just uh, stand here and do this. It's, it's three seconds and uh, no problem, okay? <clears throat> and then the next thing is you have to um, go into the settings of the games and do some um, changes. So for Half-Life Alyx, I will show you what to do. Go to options and then interface. So they told me you can, uh, you should use a uh, weapon hand right and uh, weapon select orient hybrid. Uh, you can play around a little bit with this, but they told me to do this. So uh, yeah, but the most important part is go to preferences and this here, this is very important. Go to movement continuous head orientation you see that head orientation it's very very important otherwise it won't work it will not work when you say hand orientation yes of course the game is not head orientated then because it's a uh, deca move uh, orientated but the deca move needs this setting okay that's it i also turned uh, controller turning off and uh, that's very important and you have to do this in all the games yeah it's very important head orientation. Also, if some games have something that uh, in, has an influence on your joystick, uh, like a faster movement or smooth movement for the joystick or um, double movement, turn it off. Everything that has influence on the controller movement, turn it off. That's very important, otherwise it won't work like intended. So, and here we are, and let's, 
I, I, will, I will show it my body from, from this side. You can see the Deka move here. So, <clears throat> what we're gonna do now is... Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I will go forward now. Uh, uh, very... Give, give me a second. Uh, very slow, like this. <laughs> Carry braided. And now, look at this. I can shoot and look here. Is that great? Is that great? <laughs> I can m still move forward and look out the, on the side and uh, and shoot stuff. Also on the other side. Look at this. It's crazy. It's like a uh, real movement. I mean, when I when I when I run forward, uh, like uh, in in my real life, I can I can look and have my hands here. Look at this. It's it's so cool. It's just I, I never I never thought that such a small device can uh, change the gameplay completely. It just feels much more immersive than before when you can just walk forward and shoot there. Look at this. It's like in, 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 in real. It's like in the real world. So cool. Well, why didn't somebody invent this uh, earlier? <laughs> I mean, we have VR now since 2016. <laughs> great. Absolutely great. And uh, yeah, you can you can do this with, with all the games. I mean, so cool. <laughs> when you shoot some stuff, you can also do other stuff here, uh, like uh, going going. Wait a wait a second. Going forward and pull the stuff here. Look at this. Throw it away. And and uh, you can do this with all the stuff. Is there something else? <laughs> wait. <laughs> so I choose this. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Even while uh, running here. <laughs> great. It's so great. Um, of course, you can always... Uh, um, for the beginning, you should move forward only. yeah, Because uh, it's a little bit tricky to do strafing. Uh, you need a lot of... Uh, as some people need a lot of... Uh, time to get used to it because uh, some people are uh, used to play hand orientated or head orientated but I got used to it very very uh, fast and it's just great you can still strafe of course like this but uh, then it's a little bit tricky <laughs> I mean you can also do it yeah you can you can uh, go left and right and shoot um, with strafing it's no problem uh, <clears throat> but uh, for the beginning, just move forward. So for me, it's it, it's a lot of mu it's much more immersive for me to do uh, like this, and you can do it in all games. As uh, I mean, I I tried uh, some games now, and it works with them. But I will show you more games. So yeah, that's it, guys. Let's jump into another game. Okay, guys, welcome to the next game, Blade and Sorcery here. So, uh, here is very important that, uh, of course, first calibrating, like always, like this. And uh, then you have to go to the menu and check if the settings are uh, like this here, locomotion direction, headset. Yeah, everything like this. And uh, for me, it was uh, the standard setting, so I didn't have to change that, but locomotion direction should be headset yeah and then when you calibrated everything you can do the stuff like moving forward and fighting to the side or even back <laughs> is that crazy look at this you can even uh, um, do that I, I will show it to you in the in a fight No, where's my knife? No! Shit, I can only fight with the... <laughs> so, what I can do now is running forward and fighting to the back. See that? See that? I can fight from the side here, and that's cool. I can run and look backwards and even fight backwards. And then... 
<laughs> Crazy stuff. In your head. Give me a second. <laughs> Hello. Uh, they are not used to that. They didn't see that before. They didn't ever use the Deka move. <laughs> what? Look at this from the side. From the side, it's so cool. Where's my, where's my eggs? Shit! Ha ha ha, there's a sword. Where? So cool. Haha, <laughs> you see that? You can do a lot of cool stuff here. <laughs> but you can always turn around with your hip as well, like this. How many of them? Ha ha ha! didn't expect that. Yay! <laughs> so I can go here and throw my weapon <laughs> here. So cool! So cool! So um, you can run forward. Uh, and then just move your hip to turn. That's like in real life. It's just like in real life. So awesome. But you, of course you have to get used to it. Strafing and moving is a little bit complicated then. But if you get used to it, it's cool. So yeah, guys, that was Blade and Sorcery. Ha, let's try another game. Okay, guys, the next game is Skyrim. And uh, here is very important that you uh, first, uh, of course, calibrate. And then go to the menu and go to settings, go to VR and uh, then here very important movement mode, direct movement, um, very important not teleportation and direct movement mode is HMD relative, not wand relative, yeah, HMD relative, very very important otherwise it will, would not work and um, now um, on they have a compatibility list and I think a uh, Skyrim was not marked as compatible but when you move forward you can still uh, have your hands to the side and look to the side it works but it's stuttering a little bit here it's stuttering a little bit so I think it's a little bit complicated for the game to uh, have the HMD looking in another way than the Dika move <laughs> but uh, I think, yeah, I, it, it still works. It still works, although they say it's not compatible. It it works. You can play with it definitely. Yeah, so all uh, even the games that don't um, official uh, are not officially supported. You can do that. Yeah, as you can see. And when I move my hips now, I can move in another direction. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. So guys, yeah, that was. Uh, Skyrim VR. Let's check out another game. Okay, guys, the next game is VR Chat. So uh, what you're gonna do is uh, the first thing, go to settings and um, go to comfort and safety and turn off 
hollow port 3D locomotion because this is something like teleport. It won't work then. So please turn it off so you have smooth locomotion and uh, then you can do that. So I can uh, walk forward and wave to the... Um, to the right side and also look to the right side and even move there. So if, if your friend is uh, running uh, next to you or uh, walking next to you, you can talk to him uh, and uh, wave to him while still running forward. And that's so cool. That's really cool. But I can also navigate with my hips now. Yeah. So uh, you see that? <laughs> Absolutely cool, absolutely cool. <laughs> so uh, that's what you what you can do. You can also run faster and look to the side. And, that you can even walk forward, wave to the right side and look at the left side. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> as long as your hips stay forward, the character moves forward. So awesome. Yeah, VR chat check. Okay guys, and now we have the next game and another headset. I'm using the Pimax 8KX now uh, with Onward and uh, we will see if that works. So the first thing you need to do is uh, go to settings here and make sure that the locomotion is head-based again. Not offhand, okay? Head-based. That's very important, otherwise it uh, won't work. Go to single player or whatever. Let's. Let's do some pff, whatever stuff here. Doesn't matter the map. And uh, th then we um, we check uh, the helmet stuff. I, I don't care about the weapons now. We just want to, to see if that works. So what are you going to do first? Yeah, right. Calibrate, guys. Calibrate and let's stand still and yeah, it's calibrated and now I can go forward and look to the side. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I can even aim to the side and and uh, look uh, and, and walk forward. I, I can even uh, walk forward, aim to the left side and look to the right side. It's so awesome. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Now now let's let's try uh, that. You see that I can look there and and still move forward and can aim there and and move in a complete different direction. Where where is he? See that? Go down. Let's go down. Uh, you can also do this while uh, while cr you crouch. See, oh shit! Let me show that, guys. So move forward, move forward, and look in this direction or in this direction. It's crazy. It, it works. Damn! Stop shooting at me! Are they crazy? How many ammunition do they have? See that? What? Who was that? Damn! <laughs> but uh, it it works. Yeah, it, it just works. You can do totally different things. Even with the Pimax 8KX, it's absolutely no problem. So another headset confirmed and uh, onboard confirmed. <laughs> Okay guys, and now the last test. I want to show you the Oculus Quest 2 via Oculus Link with the Deca Move and Pavlov VR. That's cool, right? So here's another setting that you first need to do. Go to settings, go to input, and here choose your dominant hand and choose input vector head. Very, very important, okay? Input vector head. That's important. And then we can go for some who's shooting here for some stuff here rifles get okay. eh. uh, I will go for this one close 
Yeah, and here you can, oh, let's first calibrate. And then we can move forward and look to the side. Look at this. We can shoot there. There's nobody. And, and still look there. We, we can even go uh, forward, shoot there, and look there. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so crazy. I, I love it. It's so much fun in the shooters. And, and you can just turn with, with your hip. Yeah, you see that? With your hip, you can look wherever you want. And I'm still, I still think it can reduce motion sickness. Damn, go there, fuck. <laughs> Don't shoot at me. Go there, shoot there. Damn! <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, that also works with, uh, with the Oculus Quest 2 VR Link, and it works really good. Yeah, it works really good. So, uh, I think there's, the, the, I would say like 90% or, or even more games work and uh, yeah, we've seen a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of games, uh, different headsets, and I think uh, I should come to a conclusion now. now. So let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Yes, guys, the DK move. So I, I never expected this, that this little piece of hardware can change the whole gameplay to the positive side, very positive. I mean, I play VR since 2016 and I already always uh, play like uh, controller based or head headset based. But this one, this is so cool that you can just uh, put it on your hip and it feels so much more immersive with this new method of, of movement. It's just really immersive and I never expected that. I just saw that what, what this little thing, this cannot do something, but it can. It can and it works. It's it's crazy. So for me, just uh, not not even the multiplayer games, even the single player games like like Half Life Alex. It's so much more immersive. I mean, uh, when you go outside without VR, um, your your movement is is also based on your hip. You can just walk uh, on the street and wave somebody and even walk in the same direction. And now you can do this in VR with this as well, and that's cool. And the next thing is it's very compatible as you saw in my uh, test. It's compatible with all the VR headsets. Uh, I think uh, not PlayStation VR, uh, but all the other uh, headsets as well, like Oculus Quest 2. And I can also confirm it works with virtual desktop. So you can use it with the Quest 2 wireless as well. So really awesome. It's compatible to nearly all games. Even the games that are listed as not compatible, they work. It's a little bit of stuttering, but it works. That's so cool. And uh, I'm not 100% sure. I, I will not confirm that now, but I think that uh, it even reduces the motion sickness a little bit. Yeah, it, it could be. I, it feels like uh, it reduces it a little bit. So all in all, this, this device is just crazy. Um, and this is even a, a, a prototype of the Blogger's Edition. Uh, you can see it's printed in 3D here and later the mass production will have a, a cooler uh, design or a little bit uh, better material here. But even this is really cool with the 3D printer. <laughs> so, so nice. So I got a, a, some information about this device now. So uh, now, at the time I record this video, you cannot click on that here. It's just not, not uh, unlocked. Um, the price will be 69 US dollars and uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the, buy, the, the stuff here, the order will be unlocked uh, in one week or two weeks or whatever. And then you can uh, buy it here for 69 bucks. And the delivery starts at end of April 2021 the customers okay um 
the shipping cost to US, UK and Germany will be around $10. Okay. And you shouldn't have to pay custom fees, but perhaps uh, you have to, to pay that. Okay. Um, that means uh, all in all, I would say like 89, $89 or something like that. All in all, we will see. Uh, <laughs> however, uh, this is um, the price of the thing itself at 69 bucks. So guys, um, the, the next thing that I want to talk about is that uh, this is the first part of the upcoming DK Gear 1 headset that I already told you about. And now we have a proof that this company called uh, Mega Dodo Games can do a really, really good job. Yeah. And this is the proof of it. It works good. It, it's just awesome and it's easy to use. And now I'm really looking forward to the DK Gear 1 headset. Um, I mean, I don't want to, to hype too much. Uh, you, you, you saw uh, with the uh, Reverb G2, um, when, when, when you hyped something too much, then everybody's disappointed. But I will not hype it too much, but I'm really looking forward to the DK Gear 1 headset now. And they told me again, it will be released in Q4 2021. Yeah, the DKG one. And of course, uh, they, they promised me that I get a review unit. And I promise you that I will do a cool uh, and honest review about the headset. And as I said, I'm really looking forward to that. So cool. And I had a lot of contact with the guys of Mega Dodo Games and they do a good job. They are working really hard and they also told me something about the, um, uh, the, the stuff here, about the tech of this thing. So for example, uh, um, the calibration data is um, collected via the rotation data from the controllers, from the headset and from the Deca move itself. And then it calculates uh, the calibration and the process happens every few seconds. And that's so, so cool. And um, yeah, so I can only give thumbs up and I really love this new stuff. Um, for the battery life, I'm not sure. I played a lot of hours and it's still 90%. So the battery life is really good, but uh, I cannot tell you how, how many hours that is. Oh, it's definitely enough. <laughs> so guys, I hope you liked the video and uh, subscribe to my channel. Then, then you will see the DKG1 review. I hope as soon as possible. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you want to support me, you can do this via Patreon and get early access to my videos and behind the scenes videos. And uh, I hope you give me a thumbs up. And if you want to uh, see some information about the device or even uh, about the upcoming DKG1, check out the links in the description below. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Wudo.de